Panama disease, also known as Fusarium wilt of banana, caused by the fungus Fusarium oxysporum F. sp. cubens, was first discovered in Australia in the late 19th century. The disease gained its name after causing widespread damage to banana plantations in Panama in the early 20th century, around the 1950s, which led to its identification and naming. It has since become a significant threat to banana cultivation worldwide, particularly affecting the Gros Michel variety, leading to the adoption of the Cavendish variety, which was initially resistant to the strain of the fungus that caused the original outbreaks. Panama disease, a devastating affliction caused by the fungus Fusarium oxysporum F. sp. cubens, Foc, strikes banana plants through a process that begins at the most fundamental level of the plant's existence, its roots. The disease operates by invading the plant through these roots, exploiting natural openings or wounds to gain entry. Once inside, the fungus embarks on a relentless colonization of the xylem vessels, the plant's essential system for transporting water and nutrients. This invasion disrupts the plant's internal water and nutrient distribution networks, leading to the characteristic wilting and yellowing of leaves that mark the disease's progression. The spread of Panama disease within a plant is just the start. The fungus also produces spores that can infect neighboring plants. These spores can be transported through various means such as contaminated soil, water, and farm equipment, or even through plant debris, making the disease highly contagious and difficult to contain. The resilience of the fungus is notable with the ability to remain dormant in the soil for extended periods, posing a long-term threat to banana cultivation in affected areas. As the fungus spreads and intensifies its grip on the plant, symptoms become increasingly severe, leading to stunted growth and, ultimately, the death of the plant. This progression from infection to plant death is swift and often goes unnoticed until it's too late for intervention. The lack of an effective chemical cure for Panama disease means that once a plantation is infected, control measures are limited to preventive strategies. These include implementing strict quarantine measures, using disease-resistant varieties of bananas, and adhering to good agricultural practices designed to minimize the risk of introduction and spread of the fungus. The ongoing battle against Panama disease, especially the tropical race 4, TR4, strain, highlights the critical need for continuous research into developing resistant banana varieties and finding sustainable ways to manage the disease. The global reliance on bananas for food security and economic stability makes the fight against Panama disease a matter of international concern, underscoring the importance of collective efforts in agriculture, science, and policy to address this challenge. Panama disease, caused by the fungus Fusarium oxysporum F. sp. cubens, manifests through a series of symptoms that progressively debilitate banana plants, often leading to their demise. The disease initiates with the yellowing of the oldest leaves at their margins, a sign that subtly hints at the onset of infection. This yellowing gradually spreads to younger leaves, marking the disease's relentless progression through the plant. As the infection advances, wilting becomes evident. Leaves, starting with the oldest, begin to droop and lose their vigor a distressing sign for growers, as this wilting occurs despite the leaves initially retaining their green color. This green phase is short-lived, however, as the leaves soon transition through yellowing to brown, indicating their eventual death. The growth of the plant is noticeably stunted as the disease takes hold, affecting not just the aesthetics but significantly reducing the plant's productivity. A critical symptom, and often a clear indicator of Panama disease, is the vascular discoloration observed within the plant. Cutting the stem or pseudostem crosswise reveals dark brown or black streaks, a direct result of the fungal invasion blocking the plant's vital vascular channels. This blockage hampers the plant's ability to transport water and nutrients, leading to the death of leaves, which progresses from the lower leaves upward until the plant may stand bare. Additionally, the base of the plant, or corm, may exhibit signs of rot, further crippling the plant's foundational support system and its capacity for nutrient and water uptake. These symptoms collectively signify the advanced stages of Panama disease, underscoring the challenge in managing the disease once visibly present. The sequence from the initial yellowing of leaves to the eventual plant death paints a grim picture of the disease's impact, highlighting the importance of early detection and the implementation of preventive strategies to mitigate its spread. Managing Panama disease 
caused by the fungus Fusarium oxysporum F. sp. cubens, poses significant challenges due to the absence of effective chemical treatments for eradicating the disease once a banana plant is infected. The strategies employed focus primarily on prevention, containment, and minimizing the impact of the disease on banana plantations. The cultivation of banana varieties resistant to the fungus stands as the cornerstone of managing Panama disease. Developing and planting cultivars that can withstand the pathogen's attack is the most effective measure against the disease. Alongside this, implementing good agricultural practices plays a crucial role. This includes crop rotation with non-host crops to interrupt the life cycle of the fungus, ensuring proper sanitation of farm tools and equipment to prevent the spread of the pathogen, and maintaining optimal soil health to support plant resilience. Soil sterilization, through methods such as solarization or the use of chemical fumigants, has been explored to reduce fungal populations in the soil. However, these methods come with limitations, including environmental concerns and varying degrees of effectiveness. Biological control, involving the use of beneficial microorganisms to antagonize Fusarium oxysporum F. sp. Cubens, offers an environmentally friendly alternative. Research into identifying effective biocontrol agents is ongoing and shows promise as part of an integrated disease management approach. Quarantine measures are critical in preventing the spread of Panama disease to uninfected areas. These measures include strict controls on the movement of soil and plant material from regions where the disease is present. Additionally, the prompt removal and destruction of infected plants from plantations can help reduce the source of the fungus and slow its spread. Improving field drainage can also contribute to disease management by creating less favorable conditions for the spread of Fusarium oxysporum, which thrives in waterlogged soils. Regular monitoring of plantations for signs of the disease and early detection of infected plants are essential for effective management, allowing for timely interventions. Despite these efforts, the battle against Panama disease underscores the importance of continuous research into developing more resistant banana cultivars and finding sustainable, long-term solutions to combat this formidable plant pathogen.